our simple topic today with the faith in Christ Jesus no kukiriza mu Kristo Yesu the best is yet to come echi singo bulunji china tero kutuka remember we are at the platform of faith mujukire ntituli kuchitutye cho kukiriza welcome to the platform of faith tubaniriza kuchitutye cho kukiriza it is too early buchali nyo for you to condemn yourself. Too early to determine. What will become of you? Too early to determine. Stop complaining. Listen to what happened to the woman of the hemorrhage. She had spent 12 years. But the moment she met Jesus, she was healed instantly. It is too early. Whatever you have gone through, too early to determine what will become of you. I'm reading 525 of Mark. Good morning. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians and had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment for she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. To God be the glory. No matter the situation. With the faith in Christ Jesus. It is too early. To condemn yourself. To determine. Your tomorrow. With the Christ Jesus. I promise you. The best is yet to come. Let's read the book of Luke. Chapter 1, from verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as a priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord, and the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. The Bible say Bible gamba, they were all advanced in years. How old are you? It is too early. <laughs> they were advanced in years. They had no hope. But their prayer was heard. And God sent an angel. And a message. To Zacharias. To let them know. That he is aware. 
I want to tell you today, this message is for you. The Lord is aware. You are advanced in poverty. You are advanced in sickness. You are advanced in joblessness. You are advanced in that situation. The angel is on the way. With your message, no, with your package, no, and John was born. No matter the situation, with the God, all things are possible. Jesus said, He who believes in me will do what I do, will do even greater. I'm reading John 14:12. Most assuredly, I said to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and the greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. To God be the glory. The Bible says that Christ Jesus is the same. 138 of Hebrews. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So what he did 2,000 years ago, Christ Jesus can still do it. It is too early for you. With the faith in Christ Jesus, the best is yet to come. We have seen miracles. We have seen wonders. Christ Jesus is still alive. And he is still doing his work. What he did 2,000 years ago, he just repeated. He will do it again. I promise. In Jesus' name.